welcome back. Video three in our common side effects after sleeve mini video series. Today we're going to do it, we're going to talk about poo. <laughs> so I wanted to have a talk about diarrhea and then in the next video I'm going to have a talk about constipation. Uh, the reason, although again not another, an, another not a very lovely topic, the reason I wanted to talk about poo is that there are many benefits to a sleeve gastrectomy, but there are also some really common complications and side effects, and diarrhea is one of them. It's annoying, um, as are nausea, reflux, and constipation, but diarrhea can have some really awkward social situations to it too. So, although it's not pleasant, I thought it would be really important that we talk about this one, and I give you some tips for what you can do about it too. So first of all, if you are still on the fluid post-op diet, then diarrhea is really common. And this one is simple. There's nothing solid going in, so often there's not much solid that comes out. And usually, if diarrhea is caused by the post-op fluid diet, then once you start progressing onto purees and onto soft foods and solid foods, um, then you'll start to see that diarrhea settle. Make sure if you're in the fluid phase that you're taking your daily fiber supplement. So for example, a Benny fiber and you're taking one teaspoon to start with leading up to two teaspoons a day if the diarrhea is really bad. Fiber supplement will add some bulk and it will actually slow things down. So often people will say to me, oh, I thought that would make diarrhea worse because Di uh, fiber supplements are sold to us to reduce constipation but actually when you're not eating any fiber it makes it really difficult to form solid poo and so adding a fiber supplement in actually starts to slow things down for you. The anesthetic as well initially post-op can give you some nausea and some diarrhea afterwards so there isn't much that you can do about this one other than write it out. Usually it'll settle down on its own in the first few weeks. The third reason for diarrhea and this one kind of comes up and this will be with you longer term is lactose intolerance and it's a really common cause of diarrhea after sleeve gastrectomy um, and it is usually an intolerance to lactose that wasn't there before surgery. Some people um, that have an intolerance to lactose before surgery will find that that gets better because the volume of food that you can't eat is, re oh, the volume of food that you can eat is reduced. But for other people, uh, lactose intolerance is something new. And instead of battling on with milk and regular cow's milk, regular yogurt, uh, you could try some lactose-free milk, um, yogurt and lactose-free cheese is available now in the supermarkets as well, even lactose-free cream. So there's products out there like Lidl's and Zymel's, uh, Zymel and Valia. And you could also try adding lactease, which is a little tablet to your normal milk or taking it at the same time as you're eating dairy, dairy or try a non-cow's milk uh, replacement like a calcium fortified soy milk instead. The, the next reason that we can get diarrhea is dumping syndrome and it is quite rare after gastric sleeve, it's really common after bypass, but it can be another cause of diarrhea and what happens with dumping syndrome is that when you eat something sugary after a sleeve, because your stomach empties a bit faster than it did before the surgery, just because of the mechanics in there, um, the sugars in that food hit your gut and they would normally be digested, they're still in their regular sort of normal form and the gut is really sensitive with that. It doesn't know what's going on and so it just says get it out of here. So usually dumping will happen within about 30 minutes after eating and you'll also get hot and sweaty and you'll feel awful you have to run to the loo and you'll get that diarrhea. So if your diarrhea is happening kind of just regularly through the day and it's maybe not aggressive as, as I've just explained, then it's probably not dumping syndrome. The next 
common cause of diarrhea is meal replacements or protein shakes and again it kind of along is along the same vein as the lactose intolerance and dumping syndrome but these meal replacements can either be a bit too rich uh, or a bit high in sugar or they can have some additives in them such as inulin which is a type of fiber that just doesn't agree with many people so to reduce your reaction to these try using a lactose free milk to base them on rather than regular milk if you're using milk or swap to a clear tasteless protein powder um, for example like Benny protein and use that in a regular lactose free milk and that should help to reduce that impact. Um, sometimes though, last thing I have to say on diarrhea, sometimes diarrhea can be caused just by a bug uh, just like any, stomach, any other stomach. So if this is the case, if you have constant diarrhea or you're struggling to keep up your fluids, please see your GS GP ASAP so that they can help rehydrate you. Um, make sure that you're taking rehydration um, liquids such as hydrolyte and ride it out. And I really what I want to say if you're unsure or worried about what's happening with your bowels please don't hesitate to contact your team it's much better to be safe than sorry